What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at Mandarin. Mandarin is a framework to create MVC applications and APIs. This framework has four main modules, core, data, security, and MVC. It is highly inspired in Spring Boot. Spring Boot, if you don't know, Spring Boot is a Java framework, probably the most popular Java framework. And Mandarin provides these features, dependency injection, components, decorator-driven routers, middlewares, sessions, a built-in ORM. It also provides a query language called Mandarin Query Language, or MQL, and it also provides a template engine. Mandarin runs on Deno, and it's fully written in TypeScript. Okay, so let's get started creating an application using this framework. And this framework requires to create a tsconfig file with these contents. So I'm going to grab this from here and I'm going to create a new file, tsconfig.json, and I'm going to paste that in here. Let's go back and Mandarin recommends this project structure. It's not required, but it's a recommendation that we are going to follow. For example, here, this path to this properties file is the default location. We can use a different location with some configuration, but in our case, we're going to follow this structure. Okay, so let's get started creating this project structure. So I'm going to create a new folder. It's going to be source. Another folder is going to be main. And here we're going to create two folders. This will be sample and another one for the resources. This will be resources. Okay, and here we are going to create the app file, app.ts file. Okay, now we are going to import the main elements of this library. So we're going to import the Mandarin core class, Mandarin core class from, and this is the URL. So I'm going to grab this from here, this one. Okay, the typical structure of a project for Mandarin and also for Spring Boot applications is having a controller typically, for example, to create the endpoints of an API. And then that controller interacts with a service and we can use dependency injection for that. We can inject the service into the controller. So let's get started creating a controller first. So export class my controller. And here we need to use the controller decorator. So this is controller. And here I'm going to create one method, this will be public, say hi. And we are going to return a string. And another thing that I need to add here is another decorator to specify that is a get endpoint. So this will be slash hi. Okay, and to start the application, we need to add here new Mandarin core dot MVC dot run. So I'm going to run this really quickly. This is Deno run hello net hello read and the name of the file that is source main sample app dot ts and i forgot to add here the configuration file that is this is config equals ts config dot json and like this actually okay now our application is up and running and we can start making requests to our controller okay and as we can see here it's going to start the application on port 8080 so let's try this. So if I run 
HTTP localhost 8080 slash high, and I click here on send, I get a 200 and high as part of the response here. So that works fine. Let's go back and let's create a service and let's see how dependency injection works in Mandarin. This will be add service. And here we can create our class. So this will be export class my service. And I'm going to create a method here that is going to be public. And I'm going to call it say hi. I forgot to add this. So this method is going to return a string. This will be hi. And here we can add a constructor and do dependency injection using this constructor. So this will be constructor. And here we need to specify what is going to be the dependency that we want to inject into our controller. So this would be private, read only, my service, and the class that is my service. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to use this service just to check that it's injecting that dependency as we expect. So this would be return my service dot say hi. I forgot to add this. Yes. Okay, let's clean this and let's run this again. Okay, let's go to Postman and I'm going to run this again. And as we can see here, we get hi and we get the 200 HTTP code. Okay, and what if I remove this decorator from here? Let's run this again and let's see what happens. Okay, now let's go to Postman and let's check. And we get a 500 and as we can see here we get a undefined because we are not injecting the service let's undo this so this is the way to create controllers and services doing dependency injection in line so i just have this file and i declare the controller and the service here okay what happens if i want to move this controller and this service to a different file so in that case what we need to do is create these constants here. We need to create a constant named controllers. And we need to add an array of the classes that are the actual controllers that we want to import. Another constant for services, like this, services. Another constant for middlewares, middle middleware it works another one for repositories another variable for configurations configurations another one for components and the last one for other modules other modules so if we move this controller to another file let's do that right now so I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it controllers. And I'm going to create a new file. It will be my controller.ts. I'm going to paste this in here. And here I need to import things. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to paste it here. And I need to remove Mandarin core and the service. And I'm going to also extract this service from here. So I'm going to create a new folder. This will be services. And I'm going to create a new file. This will be my service.ts. And I'm going to paste this there. And I need to import just the service component or the service decorator actually from the Mandarin library. So 
So here we have the controller. Yeah, I also need to import the service here. So this will be import. This is my service from, and this is services slash my service dot ts. And here we need to import the controllers. In this case, it's my controller. So we need to import that. Import my controller from, and this is controllers slash my controller dot ts. And I also need to import the service. So this is import my service from, and this is services slash my service dot ts. And I need to put this in here. And I'm going to clear this and run the server again. Okay, now let's go to Postman and let's run our request. And as we can see here, we get a 200 and we get the response as we expect. Mm -hmm.